In Access Level 1, we learned to create relationships or links between two or more tables by going to the Relationships screen. The only other place where you can create relationships are within queries, albeit that they're temporary, they only apply to that query, and they're referred to as data joins. For example, I have my query here opened up in Design View, it's the Books query, and it's based upon these two tables, the Book Project and the Book Sales. From the Book Project, I have the two fields, Part Number and Book Title, and then from the Book Sales, Order ID and the Quantity Sold. Now if I go ahead and run this query without a relationship or a link between these two tables, or in this case a temporary data join, I'm going to get bogus results because Access is going to assume a lot of things. For example, let me look at the book project table that I have open and look at how many records I have. Total of 25. Book sales, a total of 82. Add them up between the two, I get 107. So if I go back to my query here, and I right click and I go to the data sheet view, Look at how many records I get, 2,050. That's the first red flag. The second is when I look at the order ID field here, the ID is duplicated and it shouldn't be because it's a unique field here. It's got a primary key tied to it. For example, if I go back to my book sales table here, I look at the order ID 1, it's referring to a particular sales date, to a part number, to a customer ID, and the book sold. Remember this part number right here, 14312H2. When I go to my book project, it's referring to this book, Cooking Basics for Children. So when I go back to my query here, there it is, Cooking Basics for Children, so it's the only one that it got right when it's talking about that unique ID one. Everything else is bogus. So what I need to do is right click and go back to the design view of my query and be able to create a temporary relationship or data join between these two tables. There's part number in the book project and there's part number in the book sales. In other words, you're going to apply the same rules that you learned in the Access Level 1 training video on relationships to the same data join that you'll be creating within the query here between these two tables. In other words, these fields here have to have the same data type. For example, if I go to the book project and right click and go to design view, part number has the text as the data type. Right click book sales to design view, part number has the same data type text. So back to my query here, let me go ahead and create a link or a data join between these two by clicking on one field, the book project part number, and dragging it over and dropping it on the part number in the second table here. Now does it matter if I drag this field to that table, that field to that table? No, it doesn't. And I'll show you that in just a second. But now that I have a data join or a temporary link between these two, you want to know that there are two different types of data joins. And I can find that out by right clicking on the data join here and going to join properties. They're known as inner and outer joins. You have three options here. The first one is an inner join. The options two and three are outer joins. First of all, let's look at the inner join. This says here it'll only include rows where the join fields from both tables are equal. So if the part number in the book project actually matches a part number in the book sales, then it only pulls those records. Another good example is, is that we have many book projects. A lot of them are being sold. Some of them haven't. So those that haven't won't match anything in the book sales so it won't be pulled as part of that inner join or just the related records between the two that match up. Okay. Next we have the outer joins, two or three, meaning that you include all records from one table and only those that relate from the other table. And if I choose three, it means to include all records from the second table and only those that it relates to the first table. So in this example, if I have, let's say, ten records with ten different part numbers, and of all those ten different part numbers, let's say the only one that we sold, the most popular one, was part number one, then the only thing it'll pull from this table here is just the one that it relates to in this table. It'll pull all records here and then one additional record or in this case a related record to include in the records here. Let me show you another way. Let me go to my PowerPoint presentation. I have circles here and each circle represents a table. So first of all here's figure one. This is what's called an inner join and the definition here is it lets the query show related records from the two tables here that crosses over that relate or match and as long as both contain a field with the same data type and of course that they match, those fields match. Like part number XAG also matches part number XAG that's in the other table. So if they match, they pull. There's something shared. It doesn't pull all records from this table or all records from that one. So that's what's called an inner join in between the two tables. An outer join means that it includes all the records on the outside and only related records from the second table here. Now again, why it doesn't say that within the uh, options here, I don't know, but that's what they're referred to when you're building the databases and access. So if somebody asks you about creating an inner and outer join, you can refer to step one for the inner, two or three for the outer. So let me give you an example here. Let's do an inner join first, where only related records between the two tables. Okay, select one, which was the default, and click OK. And then go ahead and view this in the datasheet view by clicking on the 
data sheet view button. Now if I have other tables open it says you gotta close them so I'll click OK. I'll right click on here and left click on close. Right click on book sales table and close and then go ahead and view in the data sheet view. How many records do I have? 82. Well that makes sense because the total records I have in my book sales table are 82. When it only pulls related records well obviously anything that I sold is going to be in the book project table because I can't sell anything without tying it to a book project part number right or related to the book projects part number so I have 82 here in the book sales that's what's pulling here and that's what relates to the the book project here now it may not be pulling all the book project numbers just those that we made sales on which leads me to my next example here let me go back to the query here right click go back to the design view now let's change this to an outer join. All I have to do is double click on that thin line real fast. And let's do two. Well, we want to include all the records from the book project table and only related records or that match in the book sales to the book project table. So what that should show me is it'll show me all the book projects that we have, including those that we haven't sold yet, because I want to include all the book projects. So if I click OK and I go ahead and hit the run button or the data sheet view button. You see all these empty spaces here where a book sold and the order ID it's not tied to it. It's showing me all the records within the book project, even those that haven't been sold. And of course those that have been sold are matching up and it's just pulling those records. So it only pulls matching records, but in this case since it's an outer join, it's pulling all the records from the book project table and only matching records from the sales table there. Another way to look at this is if you look at the one book here, basic medical billing has sold one, two, three, four, five, six times, but each time has unique ID identifier so all those sold are included in the 88 records here and including those that didn't sell as well that book that book and that book and any others here so I'm gonna go ahead and right click on one of these tabs and close all the objects that are open the query and the tables and I can go ahead and click yes to save them and one final example I want to show you is that if you try to open up a query and you get an error like this that it, the query must have at least one destination field it means that somebody designed the query without actually pulling the fields down into the grid click OK and I'll show you right click go to design view they got the tables there but they haven't added the fields down below now remember in order to get accurate information you gotta have links between the two tables when you add tables to a query they'll automatically link up sometimes they won't even if you don't have permanent relationships created between two tables if access can identify that their partners or buddies here they have the same part number it'll automatically link them the problem I'm running into here is I have a book project table and a customer table and I want to be able to pull the book title from the book project table with the customer name but I can't do that because I don't have any related fields here that I can link up to so what I need is a codependent, a kid that can come between these two parents so what I want to do is right click in a blank area up here go down to show table and see if I can find, let's see, the book sales table double click on it, close out and the one thing that it has in common between these two parents, at least for this parent, has the part number. For that parent, it has the customer ID. So by default, because it can relate to one and the other, we can go ahead and choose the book title from the book project table and the customer name from the other table and be able to run the query and get the results that we're looking for. Summing this all up, when I go back to the design view, when you create your queries, you've got to make sure that when you have two or more tables that they're linked up, even if you need to do a temporary data join. That includes an inner join related records between the table or an outer join all the records for one table and just those that it matches in another thanks for watching hey as a quick reminder if you like my video please give it a thumbs up you can also click on me and subscribe to my channel get notified of the latest videos and for only two dollars a month you can have access to all my microsoft office training videos